that's a pretty nice start, and you can see why he did not flinch. and ended up beating him one and one the next two sets. He also beat Leandro Riedel, Reedy. for the USTA and he told me when it's off it's the side that will cause some errors and Taylor Fritz gets the break that's some really good playing follow through ever stops is because it's your arms connected to your body not because you're actually trying to slow it down at any point all right, Fritz is able to get the game nonetheless. with some pretty good length. Not too many short balls for Metzik to do anything with. And then once he got a look at this forehand, saw a little opening, crushed it in the corner. Yeah, and Fritz has got it all going on. He's got the pace. There's a little bit of finesse. Oh, he freaks me out a little bit because watch the head and the upper body. There's a semi spasm that happens, and <laughs> yet the touch is always pretty good. Yeah, I think it's such a shock to his system that he's not hitting the ball hard, something he does easily. <laughs> Got absurd right about here. It should have been over. Could have been over. And then it finally was. Finally was, yes. Well, there's a good return. did a pretty good job redirecting it. Oh, yes. So back to Deuce. Runs pretty well to it. He doesn't mind pace, and he also doesn't mind short. Cheese. Mid-court. <laughs> nothingness is what he got that time. So he does get a good start. Trust me, if I had 147 mile an hour serve, I'd be 
Belmont to throw it in quite a bit. Ooh. Oh, that was a shot right there. That was 147 mile an hour forehand. I mean, that partly what you're saying, perhaps, Leaf, that he feels pretty comfortable in the rally, so take a few risks. He's okay. And a great second serve. Yes. That's a good looking volley. Over at Michael Russell, as if to say, see, I, I know how to volley. Because he did hit that one well. Look, that, oh, that man. was classic. <laughs> Girlfriend Morgan. A couple seats down from Mike. Yeah, nice little pass from Taylor Fritz. At least force them to work on that point. Really nice. Visual is not as to my liking because again, watch. Everything starts to move around right before he hits it. I don't know how he hits it on the strings every time. <laughs> What's funny is I think you tell the umpire it flashed for second serves last night. Oh, what a combination. I can't. Fritz's defense often looks awkward, but the ball ends up in perfect spots. That was a great defensive lob. And then as soon as he hit it, he took a step forward, knowing he's got an opportunity. His opponent's back. That was beautiful stuff from Fritz. Stuff from Fritz. Oh. I keep his body still perfectly Incredibly still. Incredibly on balance. Incredibly on yeah. balance. Is moving around, but he still manages to come up with the shot, hit it on the middle of the strings. I think he's got great hands, right? When the, In the, when end, the racket, yeah. yeah, right there. If he could get that next part, a little bit of a incredible balance. Yep, yeah, Fritz is battling out here. Some great defense. Look at that. He's got that very extreme grip on that forehand, but watch the grip he uses here. He opens up the racket face. He yeah, did a pretty good job. Yeah. Oh. That one left the vapor trail. Taylor Fritz continues to play brilliant tennis. With some slice, see if he doesn't like the low ball. Drop shot, even though he's lost a lot of these points, Mensik is he's disguised it well. That was a very last second change, and every time he's hit one, Fritz has a little hop backwards first. It has surprised him each time. Clay court challengers ahead of the US Open.
Backhand to backhand. And it's Fritz. We'd get out of that a little sooner. As it is now, double break point and continuing to steamroll is Fritz if he gets this break to start the third. And then Rinky Hijikata, he was a wild card from Australia. Some finish. As easy as this match has seemed for Fritz, you do have to remember he hasn't gotten out of the third. Rushing ground strokes that whole rally. Still couldn't get it by Fritz till he hit a perfect little drop shot. Tiafo, Tommy Paul, or Ben Shell will be in the semifinals. So another game for Taylor Fritz. And by the way, that's nine aces in nine service games. Mensik, that is sort of a clay court deal, is when Taylor hits a ball that's sort of rolling and it's halfway up the court, Mensik just sort of stands there and waits for the ball to come to him. It's sort of a clay court thing. It's very subtle, but I think it's important on a hard court, isn't it, to sometimes go to the ball, He right? should try to do it on. He was up 5-1 in the first set and lost that set 7-6. A match he ended up losing. Yeah, he won the second and lost yes. the third. Yes, yeah. I couldn't believe what I was watching. You know, T Taylor Fritz was such a great serve. One more step, one more game, and he's there. Pump that one up, trying to end it with some style. All right, for Taylor Fritz, it was a comfortable one, and he's had three of them. <laughs> Taylor Fritz saying good luck and happy birthday. That's very nice.